rough start. Yeah, a little bit of a rough start, never a dull moment. Stuck in a ditch here, trying to get out on the lake. We got, a, uh, we got a friendly neighbor who's gonna pull us out with his pickup truck. Oh, there we go. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on. Oh. I love having all this stuff. I hate bringing all this stuff. Yep. All right, so I'm out here today with Max. We're on some bigger water today. We've graduated from the small mountain lakes to the medium-sized natural lakes up in Northwest PA. Uh, you know, it's bigger fish water, so I'm excited. You know, it's a deep lake. It's probably still gonna be mostly pike, but there are more species you could catch, and there's just more big fish potential. So, you know, with this couple more weeks of really cold weather we've had, we're ready to hit these things up. We'll see what happens. That's ice, buddy. I ain't even gonna check that. That's... <laughs> we got, we got the, uh... For us, that's mega safe. By our standards. I don't even need to check that thickness. That is a lot. All right, so we got plenty of ice today. Like eight inches. It's cracking, but it's plenty of ice. Um, we're out here in the big water. I'd actually like to check the depth. I brought an actual insulated bait bucket today and it seems to be working these minnows are actually staying alive look at they're all alive so i got that between the aerator and the styrofoam i think we resolved our issue we resolved our bait mortality issue that we were having so bait number one going in just a simple rig shiner right behind the dorsal right there like so Going down town. I'm not sure how deep it is. We'll check it in a minute and see how deep it is. But for now, I'll just get get him suspended there down the ice a bit. Hopefully, he's not going to get cold shock. Going down. All right. Let's check the depth. Yeah. Well, that's perfect. It's not too deep. It's about, I don't know, it's about six to eight feet deep down there. That's kind of like what I like. I mean, I think here work a variety of depths, but be near where the weeds grow. And the weeds consistently cut off in this lake at about 10 feet. Exactly. 10, 11, 9, something like that. So, if I'm in that ballpark, I think it's mostly where you want to be. Sometimes shallower, but just feel like even, you know, this time of year, the pike and a lot of the other fish are still relating to those weeds. So, there we go. Yeah. Number two. Oh, look at base camp, huh? On the cold days, you gotta bring a little support. Thunder Bay, baby. Quality product. <laughs> That's right. What well, is this? Is this a knockoff Ray Bill? I got it off, off Amazon, so who knows? Amazon product? Yeah, then we're just gonna be like fall in. We're just gonna like cut like the Swiss cheese. Flag up, flag up, flag up, flag up. Flag up. Yeah. Right there. I'm getting them. I'm getting them. I'm getting them. Here. You take this. Got, got him, got him, got him. Ooh, nice little guy. <laughs> nice. Number one. 
good one. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, he's gonna be okay. Oh. Fish number one. Shut him off for a sec. That's meaningful. We're gonna check the depth here. See, remind ourselves exactly where this guy came out of. Almost 12 o'clock on the dot. Uh, Didn't get here too much longer. 11.55. Nice pike, probably like a 23. Geez, I don't know if I got any of that. So we just caught our first fish. Haven't, we got eight flags out. We're allowed 10 because there's two of us. Um, so we didn't finish yet and I got our first flag. So we're gonna check right now, remind ourselves what that depth was precisely so that we can kind of start to target that area. That's all the only data point we have right now. So pretty freaking deep, you know, that's, I don't know, a good 15 feet at least. Oh, we got another flag. Let's go. Might not be anything. He pulled some line out. I don't think so. I don't know. There's definitely a bite. Yeah, I'm getting a jump on you. Oh, I think I still got the bait too. Yep. Let's see. He looks fine. He looks like he maybe got bit by a bass or something. Is that one up? No? Yeah, we got one up, really? Are you sure? I know he's going. Good one? Get that thing out of your way. Don't let off tension, don't let off tension. I had to break the ice. Break the ice for me. Break the ice. Oh, jeez. You broke them anyway. There we go. Not bad. Huh. It was a trouble. It's a trouble? Yeah. Here. Here. I'll help you out. Please tell me to put them in pocket. I did. Whew. You can still get the bait. murdering these fish so it might not be bite so i'd say we're still like given that no minnows got killed we're two for two we got my blood on my hands on my fish blood i want to grab more you grab those all soft but... <laughs> yeah we got one out we got one out Go. Go. Perfectly hooked. Oh my gosh. Almost spooled. Yeah, almost spooled. <laughs> he just like wasn't even in. All right. All right, gentlemen. Wow, nice little guy. About 20 something. Looks like he ate that food. Huh? Yeah. 
Better make more of it. I caught something. <laughs> what is that? In the gill rakers. Ah, nice job. We've had an issue keeping our bait alive, so I decided to uh, go out on a limb here and get ourselves a robotic swimming lure and see how this, uh, see if this might solve our issues. Let's see here. I'll open it here. Take your gloves off. Get get in the get in the in the hut. Robotic swimming lure. See that? Robotic swimming lure. What a piece of shit this probably is. <laughs> I feel like I'm opening an iPhone. Ooh. Look at that. The the directions here. I'm sure you guys have all heard of these little bad boys. Once they hit the water, they start moving and swimming. That's bullshit. Look it at this. It swims for a few seconds Look at and this. stops. Look at this. Oh, oh, we got leaders. Yeah. Oh, come on. Here, give me one of them. I'll get this line ready. All right, go ahead. Let's just see what he looks like. Oh, wow. Oh, Real oh, great oh, action. Here. Oh, my God. He swam away. <laughs> he swam away. Hold on. Bring his ass back. Hold on. Hold on. He's gone, dude. Hold on. Hold on. Bring his ass back here. Let me see this guy. It stops your pause in the water. Okay? Oh, dude, it's swimming away. Dude, let him way down there. That's crazy. Look at the look. You see, hold on. You see him? Oh, here. We can go underwater with it. Hold on. Kind of swims like a. We're just going to nice and deep. We'll do that shit in there. See it? There you go. See yeah. Swimming around it. Oh man. Oh, we got one up. We got one up. Grab, uh, grab uh, anything. Here, here, here. Or just take this. Take this. Take mine. Take mine. <laughs> okay. Get down on your knees when you get up close to get the nice. Okay. Okay, let's go, baby. Let's go. Okay, let's sneak up on him. This is one of the ones I drilled recently. Oh, he is spinning. I think he's here. I think something's here. He's right here. Get real close to the hole. There you go. It's a little guy, smallest one of the trip. Oh, look, he's missing his dorsal fin. He's completely missing. This fish is completely missing his dorsal. See some action. I wonder how that got chopped off. Little guy, smallest one of the day for sure. We'll let him go. I watch this flag go up, which is cool. Here, zoom in here. Get real close. Alright, here we go. Really? Every time, dude! Shit. Get his ass! Get his ass! Oh, he's all fighter. Let him go if you need to. Take him. Oh! oh. Little juicer! Little juice cajoni. Little juice mode. Nice one. He's yeah, he's, he's fat. Him. He's a little fat mode. This might be a through the gills operation. This is probably the biggest one. We can yeah. might as well measure him. Alright, we're coming back. Alright, five for eight now. A little better. And this is one I just placed too. Fucking Here, you want me to do it? Well, here we're gonna see just to just for the hell of it. I think I got a. Uh, let's just see. What do you think? Twenty six. Twenty six and a hair more. Okay, all twenty six sir. Let's go. get to the hole.
Oh yeah, buddy. Good work. Fish number five. Is that up? Yeah. Wait, it is. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> all right, all right. This one again. Okay. We're just gonna walk. I'm gonna swallow it. Come on, buddy. Be there. Dude. Oh, got him. There we go. Oh my god. Not that little. Nice. Uh, finally. <laughs> Number six. Man, this one is look look at where that hook is. Look at that hook. Boop. Is this the blood hole? We got a few out of this one. Man, we've got a few. Yeah, this is a money hole right here. This is a money hole. Technically, I think this can go in the water right now. Yeah. It was like, yeah, it was like vibrating. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We had a pretty good, pretty good day on the lake. Pretty good day on the lake. Um, not great, not bad. Yeah, we caught six pike. We had definitely 12 legitimate bites uh, that were definitely not false flags. Um, uh, so we went six for 12, uh, up to 26 inches, all northerns that we caught, that we saw, most in like the low to mid 20s. Uh, the thing I was doing with the bait definitely worked. We've been having a lot of bait die when we have it in the plastic bucket, just sitting on the ice. So I, this time I used a styrofoam bucket and I also had an aerator in there and not a single shiner died. So that, that definitely worked really well. I don't know what else we could have done differently other than, I don't know, approach the uh, tip ups more, more gingerly because some fish got off that were definitely on there at first. They let go at some point. Um, and the fish we caught, or most of the action was definitely in like eight to 12 feet of water, right around where the weed edge is in the summer on this particular lake. The lake, the, the weeds die off at about 10 feet. So, uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.